every room is going to be one by one block, which means that this house is going to be very small. So, um, what do we need in a house? Wow. So, here's what I'm thinking for the layout, okay? Bathroom, bedroom, laundry room, and then, so the only exception that I left that isn't one block is the hallway. I know I kind of broke the rule, but I don't care. Okay, so, so also the entryway can only be... One block. So this is our one block entryway. Okay. <laughs> very, very, very nice looking. Can have some full wall paintings on the sides. Like... Like that, very nice, very nice. Okay, okay, so I changed the decals and it looks very nice. I guess we can have this tall frosted door. The reason I didn't put a roof around the entryway is cause I want to have like plants kind of like hanging down. Okay, speaking of putting the hanging plants like that. So I keep trying to do that effect where it's like I speak and then like I snap and then like it appears but the problem is like I try to do that and then the screen like moves it just randomly moves and then so I try to move it back but it's not exactly in the right position so it is obvious that I cut stuff out so <laughs> okay so I kind of want to go for like a modern theme for this tiny house even though it's tiny I still mm. want it to look nice okay so I kind of quickly just added these like cylindrical wall lamps. I keep forgetting every time I touch, click on this, then I have to move it over here and then fix the thing because the problem is I can't place this over a painting. Okay, so after 300 million times of fixing it, here we are. So what I'm wondering is how the heck are we going to turn this into a house? Listen, listen, I don't know, but I can figure it out, okay? Just give me some time. So we can have a little fireplace in the corner if it lets me place it in the corner. Okay, I guess we can just have the TV up there like that. Okay, so I want to use these modern windows, but I have a little build hack for you guys, okay? So this modern window is $230, and... If you don't want to end up spending as much money, you grab this clear window, then you resize it to be as tall as the modern window, and boom, it comes out looking exactly the same. This challenge was such a bad idea, like, but I did it, so I have to stick with it. <laughs> oh, there's my cousin over there. <laughs> I guess we can have the ottoman here and it can be twisted wood institutional white very nice okay so i guess that's the living room done and i guess we can move on to the dreaded kitchen oh my god i can't even like see because like this wall is like popping up in my face every time that's the problem with having such a small house I guess all we can have is just that shaker counter, a sink. I guess we can just have this oak shelf. Okay, so apparently we can't place the shelves in front of the windows anymore. We can have a nice green kitchen and a black and gold sink. Okay, so we can just have like our appliances, like our microwave and our coffee maker up here. I mean, I guess it's really all we have enough room for in the kitchen. This literally looks so funny, just like three doors side by side like that. Like it looks like a bathroom with like the stalls. So I guess this room right here can be the bathroom. So we're gonna have to improvise because we can't really fit anything. So I want the bathroom to look like very zen and if it doesn't, then you need a therapist. Okay, so I added some like LED lights in the corners to just kind of give it some extra light kind of. Okay, so we didn't really have the room to add a sink in the bathroom, 
but it's fine. We have our kitchen sink. Okay, so I decided that the washer and dryer would just be like out in the open like this because I kind of had to delete the wall to be able to actually see when I was building this. So this is modern. We should have lots of concrete walls. And I guess the last room we can work on is the bedroom. But for my bedroom, I want to have light stone gray planks for the walls. Just give it a, li a little bit more fancy. And we don't really have the room to add a dresser, so pretty much we can just add some posters and some spherical string lights. I guess the rest of the house can just be this painting. Okay, so the house is done and it comes to a total of $20,464. Okay, I quickly changed the name because that name was from a plot I just bulldozed like 15 minutes ago. Okay, so I'm just gonna give like a quick tour. Okay, so this is when you see what you walk in, the door gets stuck in the laundry room and then nothing to see, there's just a TV. Okay, shut up, okay. And then a fireplace and just an ottoman. And then we have our beautiful <coughs> kitchen. And then the bathroom, which you kind of have to hop over the toilet to shower. The laundry room. And last off, my bedroom, which is pretty much just a reclining chair, posters of Taylor Swift, Stranger Things, and the Eiffel 15 Pro. So that was all for today's video. I Side note, I have a future build battle planned. And I don't exactly have six people to participate, so if you want to be in the battle, all you have to do is subscribe. Bye.